Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Technotalks here. So today I'm going to be giving you guys my thoughts or my opinions on which of these two devices you should buy as of right now. The Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus and the Samsung Galaxy S10 E. So I'm just going to go over the price, the camera, the screen resolution and all that stuff, just comparing them. And at the end, it's going to be your opinion I guess, but I'm just going to be giving you guys my thoughts on which one you should buy. So let's get on with it. First up, let's talk about some of the specs on this, on these phones. They both have a Snapdragon 855 chip. So power-wise, they do have the both the same chip. RAM-wise, the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus does have 8GB of RAM and the s 10 e has 6GB of RAM. So it is losing off those 2GB of RAM, but I don't think it makes a big difference. I did post a video comparing the speed or doing a speed test between these and at the end I did do a RAM management test. and they both held all the apps open so the s 10 I don't think the two gigabytes of RAM is a big problem unless you're gonna have like 20 apps open at the same time so speed wise they're the same let's get on to the battery battery size it is different they have a 1000 milliamp hour difference between them the S10 Plus has a 4100 milliamp hour battery and the Samsung Galaxy S10e has a 3100 milliamp hour battery so that battery size it's not a huge difference. I've had the S10e for around a year now, and battery life, I, it got through the whole day. I wouldn't have any problems going through the whole day. I would sometimes when I did do gaming or play PUBG, played Call of Duty, I would charge it during the day, like the middle of the day at like 3 p.m., and that was only for around 10, 15 minutes. So wouldn't be, it wouldn't bother me. I would just put my phone down a couple minutes and then just pick it back up and have charge. So the S10 Plus, I haven't had that issue so far. It might be battery life wise as well since I've had the S10e for a longer time. But so far the S10 Plus does get me through the whole day without charging it at all even when I'm gaming or just doing hardcore stuff on the phone. So if you're if you're going to game on these phones, the S10 Plus is the better buy obviously. But I don't think it's a big difference. So that's going to be I'm going to leave that for you guys to decide which one you think you should buy at battery life wise. So next up, let's talk about the cameras. S10 Plus, as you can see, has three cameras right here. Um, the extra camera that it does have compared to the S10e is the telephoto camera. The Samsung Galaxy S10e does not have a telephoto camera, but the S10 Plus does. So if you are into photograph photography a lot on your phone, you're going to be wanting the S10 Plus more since you can get those nice portrait shots. The S10e still has a does a decent job with the portrait shots, but S10 Plus is just better since it does have that extra camera. So, screen resolution wise, um, WQHD Plus on the S10 Plus and QHD on the S10e. So, it does have a lower screen resolution. Me personally, it didn't affect me too much unless you're into all that, just like p looking at all the pixels on your screen. Unless you do that, you know, it's not going to be a big difference. And it also helps with the battery life. Me personally, sometimes I keep my S10 Plus on QHD anyways. I don't turn it on WQHD Plus to save that extra, get that extra battery life if I do need it. So it's for me personally, it's not a big difference. So that's not going to be a factor that's going to, you know, decide on which one you should buy. Also, build wise, they're the same build quality. So aluminum with glass, Gorilla Glass 6. So build wise, they're the same. The only difference is... The S10 Plus right here, as you can see, the screen is curved. It has like that waterfall design, but the S10e does have a flat screen. So me personally, I did, when I got the S10 Plus, it was just a different feel. It did feel pretty nice, but there are people that like the flat screen more, if you, especially if you're coming from an iPhone or a phone that does have a flat screen. So if you do like the flat screen, you know, the S10e is the better buy for you guys. And if you don't care about that battery life too much, then, you know, go for the S10e. You could save a couple of bucks. The S10 Plus is around $250 more when it first released. And the S10e was cheaper. So if you are looking to buy new from Samsung.com, you're going to have around a $250 difference. And, you know, that difference is pretty big. Uh, me personally, I'd buy the S10e and then, you know, go buy Galaxy Watch or Gal Galaxy Buds or just keep that 250 in my pocket. So if money is not a problem, obviously go for the S10 Plus. But, you know, if you're trying to get something extra for an accessory or you are trying to keep that money, you know, $250 is a lot of money, go for the S10e. You're not going to lose out on too much, you know, just that camera, the one camera. And also, 
the selfie camera right there. This one has two. It has a depth sensor sensor on it, which me personally I haven't seen a big difference. You know, the S10 does still do really good with those pictures. So if you're trying to get save that money and trying to go buy another accessory for it, like the Galaxy Watch or Galaxy Buds, go for the S10 or if you're trying to save that money. But if money's not a problem and you want the best out of these two phones, go for the S10 Plus. You're gonna like, you know, you're not gonna regret any of these buys. Uh, especially um, if the money doesn't matter, then go for the S10 Plus. But you know, me personally, I'd go for the S10e to save those two, uh, to save that $250, and you know, go and buy something else. So these are my thoughts on these two devices and which one I would buy, or and also which one you guys could buy. You know, I gave you guys all the specs on these phones, and the last thing that's gonna matter is your opinion. So you're gonna decide which one you want. But this is my opinion, and I'd say go for the S10e if you're trying to save that money. So that's about it, guys. Don't forget to comment down below some video ideas or something that you would like to know more about these phones. But thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and see you in the next video.